So now let's see how we can utilize the thumbnail option inside of Microsoft Bing. So here you can see that I have a canvas and if I were to draw something over here, you can see that I have an arrow right here. You can see that uh, I, I can see hold of the screen. But if I were to zoom in, then I might not see all of the document all at once. And sometimes you may want to, let's say for example, work with a part of the document that you want to get an idea of how it looks fully. So you can go over here onto view and here you can see thumbnail is an option and once you click on it, you get the thumbnail just like this. So you can expand this in size and you get the full view as you can see within the original format. So if I were to move this out, you can see that you got like a smaller version of this and you got a bigger zoomed in version over here which you can work with and on the thumbnail view, you can see how that actually works around. So you can see that you can work around with this. You can work with minor details over here on this side and you got the overall view over here. The thumbnail only works if it is uh, at a certain zoom level. So here you can see that once I zoom out, uh, the thumbnail view disappears. In fact, it um, just gets disabled right here. If I were to zoom in, the thumbnail view is enabled. I can click on it and there you go. You can resize this according to what you like. You can move this around and you got a larger version of the document which you can work with and see it as a whole. And that is how you can work around with thumbnail view inside of Microsoft Paint. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.